Hello, Nick Stewart here. And if you're looking for a second passport and second citizenship, um, you'll want to know the best options available. In essence, there are three major routes you can take to obtain a second passport and second citizenship. And in this video, we're going to get right to, to it and look at those options and what suits you best. Let's have a look. Well, there are many, many ways to get a, a second passport and, and a second citizenship through uh, citizenship by investment programs. Um, and in this video, I'm going to look at the three key ways that you can obtain a second passport and second citizenship. Uh, there are lots, lots of different other ways, but the, if you focus on these three ways, they're the like they're the likely way that 98 percent of you will go to actually obtaining uh, second citizenship and relocation. So um, let's start with the first one. So the first one is uh, passport via entitlement. So in essence, entitlement means really what it says. It means you're actually entitled to the passport. You just have to go and claim it. So two countries that stand out here are Canada and Ireland, where in essence, all you have, if you have a relative, um, who was a citizen of that country, maybe have left that, left that country or was born in that country, you're very likely in Canada and Ireland, for example, to be entitled to a, a Irish passport or a Canadian passport. I personally have a friend uh, of mine and business associate, and he got a passport, an Irish passport, even though he was not directly Irish because his grandmother was Irish. And he just went to Ireland, filled in the necessary paperwork, and completed it and now he holds a second passport i.e an irish passport which is really quite uh, useful for uk citizens because with the eu and the brexit actually having a eu passport is a very very useful thing it's very very similar in canada um and similar in other countries and you just have to check the rules of each individual countries as to see what uh, what relationship you had with the person that had that passport to see if that qualifies you in that country or not. So very, very simple process, but in essence, that is uh, getting second citizenship by entitlement. Okay, uh, the, second, the second one is um, via residency first. And uh, this is probably the, the key element or the key way that the majority of people that end up with uh, second passports and second citizenship go about it. OK, so, for example, um, in Australia and America um, and other countries, it's really the only way to do And the UK, it's really the only way to get um, uh, direct uh, sec you know, second citizenship and a passport to those countries. So in essence, you need to get a residency first. And generally, after you've served that time of residency, uh, five to six years, you will then um, start the process of being entitled uh, to a, a, a citizenship. And each country is different. So the UK is different. UK and America have the most stringent rules. My sister is now a USA citizen. And I think she was over 10 years with a green card before she actually physically got her citizenship. So it can be quite a long process. However, if you're Filipino or come from South America and you go to Spain, the process is only two years before you start it. So it can be, um, you know, can be quite uh, quite a different sort of uh, way of uh, getting there, depending on, you know, the circumstances, the country and so forth. Now, the other question is what type of visa, right? So you can get uh, you can get residency by investment where you basically make an investment into that country in your real estate or hotel room investment or um, other other ways. And that will entitle you to a, a residency permit. And that starts the whole process. But you're also entitled to res like a work permit, for example, a work residency permit. You may go and work in a country. So Australia, for example, that is probably the best way to get into Australia is to go and work in Australia on a work permit. And after five years, renew that permit. And then you start the process to citizenship. So it does differ uh, from country to country as to um, which way and which is best to go about it. 
but uh, there are many different, uh, for example, Australia also offers a student residency and that's also offered by quite a lot of countries. So there's many, many ways to get a, re uh, to get a residency, but once you have a residency, after a period of time, two years in Spain, five years, six years in Portugal in Spain, uh, sorry, two years in, uh, yeah, and five, six years in Ireland, um, it can be many, many different different ways to do it. As I said, America can take a little longer, but once you once you get your residency permit, to be it through in uh, through investment or through uh, a student for, via work, you then have you have the process to start that process. And finally, uh, of of the three major ones, is what we call citizenship by investment. And that is, in essence, where you make a donation or you make an investment into a country, uh, into a country. And in consideration from that, they give you a second passport and citizenship by investment. And this can normally be accomplished in three to six months. Sometimes it's in some countries that are longer, maybe some countries it stretches out to a year. But generally, uh, this is the, the basis in a way a lot of people go. Now, the only problem here is that as most of the major countries in the world don't offer um, citizenship by investment, the main attraction of a citizenship by investment uh, and second passport is visa-free travel. So the biggest area for this would be the Caribbean. The Caribbean countries like Antigua, Barbu Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, St. Lucia, uh, Dominica, uh, there's a there's a nucleus of about five or six islands that offer either by via donation from a hundred thousand dollars plus fees in some countries it's more, um, or actually investing directly into real estate, which did, comes between say around two hundred to four hundred thousand. But literally, once you've done that process, you have you're entitled to live in that country. You get your second passport. You have to do the medical test, take an HIV test etc etc um but the great thing about citizenship by investment is that you're not on the whim and the prayer of an immigration officer in in essence the country has set up this program to get money into the country into their sovereign wealth funds so they want you to become a citizen so as long as you fill all the criteria then you'll part you'll pass with flying colors uh, whereas uh, in the last uh, um, episode we talked about uh, citizenship by residency if it's not residency by investment but say by a work visa or by a student visa you're always on the whim and the prayer of the immigration officer depending on what sort of night they had the night before so in essence these are the options open to you uh three different ways of obtaining a uh, second passport and then it's just a question of working out which is the best route for you what you're trying to achieve so if if it's visa free travel uh, the best and the most efficient way will be uh, go direct to citizenship via the Caribbean or Vanuatu, as an example. Um, if you want to uh, move or relocate for family reasons, be for better options, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then it may be that um, citizenship by residency would be uh, your best option. And if you're lucky enough to have citizenship by entitlement, all the better um so yeah and as i said we we obviously discuss uh with our clients as the, the best way uh as what they really need right it's just finding out and what what i do find out is that everybody's situation is completely different so what is right for one person might not be right for another and what somebody thinks is a really good route for them there may be a better a better alternative so great um i hope you've i hope you've enjoyed the video i'd like you to do three things for me now number one could you please like the video number two could you please subscribe to the video channel and hit the notification bell the notification bell gives us the um gives you the right to receive all the content as and when or be notified of the content as and when we bring it out on the video channel and we are doing a, vid a video uh, Monday to Friday every day so that I'm sure there'll be some great videos that you'll want to watch and some videos that you don't want to watch and finally if you'd like to connect with me or my team or uh, connect with my network please uh, feel free to reach out to me at nickstuart.co thanks for watching the video and please feel free to connect with me on my personal website nickstuart.co really looking forward to hearing from you bye for now